This is Twit. Andy, Los Angeles, Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Andy. Hey, Leo. How are, how are you today? I'm well. How are you? Great. Hey, so I'm trying to do Facebook Live, and we're trying to use multiple cameras. I've got uh, two or three digital SLR cameras, Canon Rebel. And I purchased a HDMI switcher that accepts, you know, five HDMI sources. But when we hook everything up, uh, and and basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm facing the phone camera to a monitor. So it's actually picking up uh, the switcher feeds as they go into the monitor to try to create a more professional look. But I get a delay every time we switch from yeah. HDMI port to yeah. port. So HDMI switcher. So uh, you're trying to kind of simulate a television station uh, an hdmi switcher is not the same thing as the switchers you'll see in tv stations i remember on uh, talk about changing times when, when we were doing tech tv the cable channel we had uh redundant control rooms this is because paul allen the microsoft billionaire was funding it we had two control rooms each of which cost roughly a million dollars to build and a big part of that expense was a great big, you've seen them on TV, Grass Valley Switcher. One of those things with the T-bar the that you slide up. And, you know, anytime they show backstage at The Tonight Show or whatever, or on Saturday Night Live, you'll see those big Grass Valley switchers. One of the things television switchers do is they switch <laughs> instantly. And, and a, an HDMI switcher isn't really designed to do that. It takes a second to kind of grab the signal it's very leisurely grab the signal and then put the signal on the screen and uh, there's a variety of technical reasons for this but anything that's going to do switching in real time is going to be much more expensive we use a device that's more capable than the million dollar grass valley console uh, to do my switching here i can switch very quickly just by typing uh, typing on a keyboard and that switcher is called a uh, tricaster now, we have a fancy one, which I think is $35,000, but you can get less expensive ones. I would look, if you want to do this, you're going to probably want to get the least, ex I think, the least expensive one, right? Is this for a church? Yeah, it's, it's for, we're trying to do some public service stuff. Okay. And interact with you, need a, you need a television switcher. Hardware switchers are actually got, gotten a lot less expensive. There's a company called Blackmagic that makes c practically consumer-priced hardware switchers for video, and they are priced if, uh, inexpensively, but they work very, very well. So it's it's blackmagicdesign.com. And then uh, what is what is the name of there? There are a variety of the ATEM, I think the A-T-E-M, ATEM switchers are their inexpensive uh, pro kind of TV production studios. There's one for under a thousand dollars. There's even one for six hundred dollars. Connect cameras to switchers. Well, that's a that's not quite it. But anyway, go take a look at the ATEM line. The other way you could do it <laughs> is a lot cheaper. It's actually how I do YouTube live video. Uh, it's a camera from a company uh, called Livestream, which specializes in live streaming. They make something called the Mevo, M-E-V-O, and this is actually what I use. The Mevo is kind of clever. Uh, it's one camera, but it is a 4K camera, which means it's in effect four 1080p pictures that you can switch between. We're seeing this a lot. Uh, there's drones that use these 4K cameras, and uh, Nest just announced its new in-home camera that's 4K. Not because you want 4K. You wouldn't want to stream 4K over your Wi-Fi. It would kill your Wi-Fi. But because it's such a high-resolution camera, you can take a small, you know, in effect, crop it, take a smaller portion of it, and still get 1080p high-def video. So that's what the Mevo does. The Mevo has a nice array microphone, but you probably are going to want to use an external microphone. Uh, or external audio input. And the best thing of all is this is controlled by an iPhone or an iPad. So you can see the overall picture, and then you can see the picture within picture and, and move it around with your finger. You can also put face recognition on it. It'll follow a performer around, which is really cool. Uh, this is a, a fantastic solution. It's about as easy as it can be. Uh, I'm trying to remember what we what we paid for it. I think it was well under five hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, it's three ninety nine ninety nine. So let's say four hundred dollars. Uh, they can keep the extra penny. 
So that's that's another alternative. So you're either going to go, if you want to use your DSLRs, uh, you're going to go out and you're going to get a real video switcher. The ATEMs from Blackmagic are about as inexpensive as you get. And Blackmagic really is good stuff. Uh, and if you don't want to go out and buy a hardware switcher to use all that gear you just described, uh, I'm, I'm really liking the uh, the Mevo cam. That's what I use for my Facebook live streaming. 